Good afternoon once again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the third round of Oz Racing. We're of course in China. This is qualifying, and uh, V Fingers and I have just finished our hot laps. We're returning to the pits. I give him a bit of a wave with the DRS there. Of course, the previous race winner there in the Haas. We go for another run though, because Rapper is stolen pole on soft compound tyres. And uh, we have a very good delta there, but unfortunately, my line is a little bit compromised, and I break it the entirely the wrong point and get my lap invalidated. So that was less than ideal as that would have been pole, especially with a better run into the last corner. Suitably disappointed with that, but these things happen, so we'll move on. In the end, Rapper does take pole. We line up beside him, very small gap, and then Darren 11 and V Fingers, the two previous race winners, complete the second row of the grid. The lights go out, and Rafa seems to have done a slightly better start, actually. He defends to the inside, very aggressive manoeuvre, very similar, in fact, to Murph's manoeuvre a couple of seasons ago. And a trademark move of mine is to go around the outside of Turn 1, and that is going to happen once again. Rafa just giving me the optimum line there, so thanks to him for that. Big fight between Down 11 and V-Fingers for P3. We've just skipped away a little bit. We have Rafa to worry about though, and he's going to the outside. But at this speed, it's very difficult to make that move that I made on lap one. A little bit of contact, in fact, but we just gave him enough room there. However, the worry of the Red Bull was not over. He was all over us. You can see him in the mirrors in the left one at the moment. We have to worry about him down into this hairpin. As we check our tyres there. Thankfully, there's no move on. We have a bit of a lock up, but still make the apex. He is all over us though at this stage of the race. He has DRS now, and down the inside he goes. We don't defend it because we have to pit soon anyway, but he's completely uh, outbraked himself, and back through we go. One lap later, we enter the pits for the first time. Go onto the soft compound tyre, and we're 18 seconds behind V Fingers at that stage. But look at the massive undercut we get, just one lap. You can see those guys still just exiting the pits. Not even quite yet, more like now. So that's a huge undercut. We're going to do one more stop on them though. There is a retirement further up the road. You can see it on the map, the dot there, just two corners away. And possibly one of the weirder things I've seen in this game in league racing. Usually when you retire with the loss of a wheel, it tethers to the car. Not the case this time. You can see it on the apex here, and I just about clear it. Still got the brake assembly attached to it. That was very close, and I have received damage from debris before. The Williams in front has just teleported there. That's interesting. Is that technology from the <laughs> Grove squad? We put our medium compound tyres on for the first time. A little bit distracted by that lap traffic and get ourselves a three second penalty, which is obviously not ideal. In the pits there though, is V fingers, and we take P2. Moving up the order at this stage, and one lap later I think that's Rafa in the pits as well, so we take the lead, but unfortunately we have to surrender it very soon after for another set of medium tyres to take us to the end. And we're only 7 seconds behind at this stage, so we're making this strategy work. Rafa's made a huge mistake ending up in the wall I believe. We're not going to quite make the move, but we'll be definitely within DRS through this run down to the hairpins. This is an ideal opportunity to take P2 away from the Red Bull driver and then try and track down V-Fingers, who might be on for a puncture later on if he continues. Although, I'm really not sure how good he's on tyres. We've seen how good Webform my teammate is. Unfortunately, Webform not attending this race. And down the inside we go, the DRS are really helpful there. Bit of a lock-up. We've made the apex though. He's going to come back up the inside. Not sure if this move is completely on, because the arrow indicates we've got better traction. But he pits anyway, so that means it's literally a battle for P1. We go for a fastest lap, in fact two fastest laps as we try and catch V fingers. Some lap traffic is a concern though. Now, I'm not sure if they see us, there's also a bit of lag there. So we'll have to be very careful. On a script they're getting a feature in one of my videos, as he's been desperate for. And down the inside we go, no worries at all with the mana driver. And now we set off after V-Fingers, but he disconnects. So this could be a real lifeline for us. 
Not sure if we could have caught him. He was seven seconds up the road, but we were catching him at a rate of knots. Unfortunately for him there, no way for him to defend that. He was a ghost car, disconnected, and that gives us a fairly cruisy victory towards the end. v Fingers actually does manage to stay in P4 for 12 points, so at least there's that for him. But very unfortunate uh, series of events there. We take our first win of the season and this series, in fact. So great stuff there. We'll see you guys next time for the Russian Grand Prix in the new year.